Hey guys, uh, it's Ignitar here, twitch.ignitar, so I'm going to go over a treasure hunting guide today. So, I've got this question a few times now, how to treasure hunt in our gauge. It's very lucrative, I just got to know how to do it. So, I'll go over the basics first, and then I'll go over locations, uh, how to craft, you know, whatnot. So, basically, I'm at a treasure ship right now. It's called a shipwreck, when you mouse over it, it'll say shipwreck. There it is, shipwreck. So... I have my flippers on. I'll go over how to craft those later as well. Basically, just gonna look right straight down and dive. You know, mouse down. You can use your sprint key to swim faster. It's very important. Uh, you can do this. You can do this without diving gear, but you'd be very fast, and it's kind of annoying. So this is my favorite ship in the game right now. It's, it's very very nice. Uh, it's up in Auroria. Not many people know about it. So you walk up to the chest. See, it has my shoe mark. Sometimes these are buried in the ground a little bit. You can't hard to see. Uh, just press F. You know, attach a item to it to raise it to the surface. I think there's, yeah, there's two more over here. This is pretty rare. Three chests is very rare. If you find three chests, you're you're a lucky son, son of a gun. So I'm gonna raise these up to the surface. Do, 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 do. And boom, they're at the surface. Great. So this item we used to, to raise it is called a recovery pouch. Here they are. Recovery pouch. They're very cheap. They're about 20 silver on the auction house right now. They're very, very cheap. So in a second here, the yeah, there it goes. The blue exclamation point. Press F to open. So we got about 15 silver and a gem that's also about 1 silver. So we, we got our investment back. Not the greatest chest, but you know. Second one gave us a tw uh, tw 10 cell from the fishing rod, a gold from the mirror, a map worth about 2 to 3 gold, and a gem worth about 1 gold. The second one, th th sorry, the third one gave us 10 silver, uh, 5 gold, and another 1 gold gem. See these little journal entries here? Inventory. We have Eeyores and Rudolphs. Uh, acquiring all of these, which is like a hundred for each, will give you a title. And that title will give you a special bonus such as uh, decreased fall damage or you know, increased climb speed. Not the greatest title in the world, but it's something, right? It takes a long time to find that since you can, you can find duplicates. You can find, you can find this, for example, Rudolph's 39 ten times if you're unlucky. So it, it will be a very long endeavor to get that title. So that's pretty much how to find a ship. Now I'll show you how to craft the items needed to actually hunt. And of course I'll need to go over the areas of where to hunt, right? So there's about three to four really good treasure hunting hubs where there's a lot of ships in a small proximity. It's probably about five. Uh, two are very well known and going there is going to be probably a waste of your time. But like, you occasionally find stuff and it, it it's pretty easy. They're, they're, they're well marked. So, I'll show you where exactly. So, I was I was just up in Auroria on the west coast here. So, bam, Auroria. Up here near the Kraken is the first area. The Kraken somewhere in the middle, usually, around here. Watch your boat, he'll eat you alive. The Kraken. Uh, there's a lot of ships around here. They're very easy to find. And there's not a lot, not a lot of foliage. So, it, you can actually drive your boat and just look down and find the chests. Which makes it over, a little bit over farmed. There's another hub up here. It's very unknown. Most people, most people don't know about it. It's started by jellyfish. A lot of jellyfish. So be careful because you will die if you don't have, don't have stealth or a heal. And down here, just near the pirate island, I think it's right about here, there's another hub full of sharks. The sharks are pretty weak. It's pretty easy to, to, to get around there. There's about maybe seven or eight ships. Up here has about maybe ten. Up here has about 20. The last two areas are down in the strait here, in this castaway strait, just in basically in this whole area here. There's about maybe 25 to 30 ships. Eh, maybe about like 25, 20 to 25. Not that many, but it's a pretty good. This is my favorite area. It's very easy to get around due to the map. See that the map has a lot of unique art. So you know, there's one right there, there's one right there, there's one right there. I can just, I can just tell by the pictures where they are. Basically, you're going to be matching a picture on a map 
to your location in game with your map. Let's try to do that, do that in a second. And last but not least, right down here in the just outside of Sandeep, about there. Let's zoom in a little bit more. Right in about here, there's another little area. But it's only like maybe five to six ships. Not that much, but it's unknown. Like the one I was just at was up here on the west of Aurora. Most people don't know about this one. That's why I go there, you know? I, I just made about close to 10 gold by doing absolutely nothing. I TP'd up there, cost me, you know, 50 silver. Made 10 gold for zero labor. That's the amazing part of treasure hunting. You don't use your precious labor bar, which I'll talk about in a future video. So, the item you need is called a recovery pouch. Costs about 30 silver today. And the prices could fluctuate, right? 30 silver. To make a recovery pouch, press O to open up your tab, your folio. Under leather working, leather goods. Recovery pouch. Requires three labor. You can make it, or you can just buy it. You know, three labor is pretty minimal. You get 10 per, per 10 minutes, so. You need a recovery pouch, kit, and leather. Leather is pretty easy to come by. I think right now it sells for about three to four silver a piece. And the recovery pouch you buy from a general merchant. If there's a lot of crafting stations, you'll usually find a crafting merchant and a general merchant side by side. So, second page. Recovery pouch kit. Ten silver. Right click, purchase. When you have your leather and your recovery pouch, you can come to this leather workbench. I'll, I'll make one. Let's, let's make one. Let's craft myself a piece of leather so I can actually make the kit. So I, I need a pouch. So I'm going to go over this merchant here and buy one recovery pouch. Bam. And we're going to walk over to this leather workbench. It's called a leather workbench. They're very common. Leather goods, recovery pouch, craft. And I will craft one more. This should go up to 22. Yay! But Iggy, what about your diving gear? Yes, that's right. I have diving gear. Helmet and fins. You'll find those under blacksmithing. Press O. Metalwork. Sorry, not blacksmithing. Metalwork. Ah, too much World of Warcraft. Under plate armor at the very bottom. The swim fins and dive helmet. These mats are all very easy to come by. You can mine them yourself. You can buy them. I think it cost me about 10 gold to make mine, but that's what, that was very early game when the mats were very expensive. I'll probably make one now for about 5 gold. Swim fins, about the same thing, about 5 gold. You know, it does, does cost 75 labor, so if you have a friend who's leveling metalworking, you can let him make these. That, cost, that requires metalwork 300, it's pretty low. We'll probably already have that by smelting your stuff. And yeah, this gives you this gives you uh, breath underwater. It's very helpful, and this is swim speed, which is all right, but not as helpful as the breath. Don't want to be suffocating, right? It's about thirty percent. You can enchant these with you know four percent swim increase. You enchant this like up to thirty thirty extra seconds underwater, which is okay, which is okay. So yeah, that's crafting. Well, let's let's go find one more, okay? So I'm gonna TP down to the south hub. My favorite spot to start is in Ostera. So I'll TP there. And I will link these maps, the public maps, for you guys. There's a website and a picture. The south one's a picture, the north one is a map. The ones that, that the extra ones I showed you, like with the sharks, the jellyfish, the five in the southwest near Sand Deep, those are not mapped right now. So they will have more chests, because less people go there. But the downside is, you don't really know exactly where they are. You have to still search for that a little bit. So, I'm going to open up my map here. Bam. And this is a map of the southern treasure locations in this little harbor here. So, how do you find a treasure ship based off the map? It's pretty simple. First, you're going to zip out into the ocean, which I'll use my submarine for. You don't have to have a submarine to do this. It helps, but you don't need it. Next patch is getting nerfed, so you probably don't even, don't even want to bother with this. 
Cost way too much. Hello, boat. I'm about to kill someone right now. Oh, no. Alright, guys, I have to gank somebody. Hold on. I'm actually gonna clip through his boat and grab the ladder. And he's dead. Now these dicks are gonna take my pack, probably. It's usually what happens. I, I I do the work and they steal it. Definitely not cool. I, I won't forget this. I'll have to go kill his guild later on. That's typically what happens. This game breeds a lot of dicks. Oh, there's another guy over there. A consolation prize. But still, it doesn't make up for the fact that someone just stole my stuff, pretty much. Low tech made this public domain. So this one's pretty deep, right? This is where the diving gear really comes in handy. So I wasn't planning on doing this ganking on the tutorial, but it just kind of happened. You know, stuff happens. As you can see, you are very, very slow with the trade back underwater. So I'm going to use my submarine, which I'm cheating. I'll use this to ascend very quick. Using a bug with the game, <laughs> you just smash your spacebar key and oh, you fly through the air. It's kind of cheating, but whatever. I'll take it. Whee! XL, no, XL, no, and try and know about that bug. They've stated it, so it's not anything too huge. Oh my god, your exploding bugs are parted. Banned! 3.5 gold for just killing someone. Now, the, other, the guy who stole my other pack also got 3.5 gold. So yeah, this really is a game of opportunism. The, the more of a dick you're willing to be, the higher profit you'll earn, pretty much. Alright, back to the tutorial. Alright, so we're gonna head out to the ocean here. I've, I've had this picture open the whole time. Whoops! And now I'm gonna go to this one over here. Right there. Although it's it's right there, it's actually a little bit above that. It's not quite accurate. Actually, let's let's, let's head to this one over here instead. That one right there. It's it's more suitable, I think. So, oh my God, I can't find it. See how this map's different? Just swim, swim out to the ocean. Your map will change over. Once you get there, bam, there you are. So, as you can see, this and the picture is very very similar. So while this one, the dot is right there, I'm gonna go right there. Let me place a marker. Right there. Once you learn these locations, it becomes like clockwork. I can do this without a map now. I just know where they are, based based off of this map. All right, so I swim over here. Throw on our gear. Even though it's not needed, this is pretty shallow. This area is pretty shallow, by the way. So. I don't really need diving gear. I'll just drive straight down. Now, chests can hide in foliage, remember? This, uh, these kind of underwater trees are a clear giveaway of shipwrecks. If you see those trees, you're probably near a shipwreck. This one has nothing. Nothing at all. 
but that's okay. It's one of many. There's many, many dots. So we'll head over to this one over here, to the east, and we'll call it after that. My biggest tips for treasure hunting, hmm. Uh, don't be afraid to do it early, you know. If you have stealth, if you have heals, you can do it. There are jellyfish and sea bugs in the water that want to gank you. They want your blood. But if you're careful, not a huge issue. It's very, like I said, it's very lucrative. It costs almost no labor. If you buy your pouches, it costs zero labor. You know, most things in the game that earn gold cost labor. So, you know, it's, it's a good way to earn money. I mean, a lot of my sub gold, subs are very expensive. So the gold I used for my sub, I got from treasure hunting, oddly enough. Like I said, this one's actually a little bit above the marker on the map here. So I'll take that off. Do one more dive. Go right there. Alright, so there, we can already see a chest. Now, if there was foliage, we wouldn't be able to see that right now. Oh, there's two. Bada bing, bada boom. So from the surface, you can't see anything. See, if you mouse over it, shipwreck. Uh, oh, where is it? Where is the cogwheel? There's a chest cogwheel just now. It's right there. So as you can see, you can see the cogwheel as I, as I mouse over it. Well, they can't see now. But yeah, you, you can you can mouse over it and occasionally see a cogwheel. Some people do that. They just do drive-bys above the ships. It's not very smart. You often miss ones, especially ones that are buried in the ground. Attach two pouches and race to service. It's important to note that someone can steal these chests. If someone else is here with you, it's the first one to open the chest, not the first person to raise the chest. I have had mine stolen before, so yeah. Just be careful. Is there any more? No, that's all. So if someone, if someone was beside me, it'd be the first person to open it. You could just kill them, though. Control F. Bloodlust. Can kill same faction in the ocean. Kind of funny that the treasure chests are submerged underwater, and you have to raise them to the surface, but you still open them underwater. It doesn't really make sense, right? So yeah, as you can see, we got, you know, more gems. Every chest will contain a gem and a journal entry. And some kind of sellable item. So yeah, we got we got kind of crapped on that time. And we got you know five silver for that one. This one's about a gold five. This one's about maybe seventy silver. So I mean, we're making back our investment. Nothing's lost here. There's no risk. You will always make back your investment with those gems. So again, finally, the the locations we have one, two. These are the very well known ones. Three. Four, five. These are the best areas for treasure hunting in the game. There are scattered ships here and there, but those are kind of kind of out of the way. You, you'll probably find a chest there because no one usually goes there, but they're kind of hard to get to. They take a long time to get to. Not really worth it. Remember, under leatherworking, you'll you'll find the pouches. Very cheap to make. Blacksmithing or metalwork, you'll find the. Items for diving. The fins and the helmet. This item here, the warm sea breath. Pro tip! You can actually get from a quest if you want to. You don't have to craft it. There's a quest right off the coast here. Ugh. Right off the... Right around here. There's a small island. It's right about there. There's an island. And you can actually build houses on this island. And on that island there's a quest giver. He gives you a quest to, grab, to talk to someone else underwater. People, some of his friends are diving and... You know, he hasn't heard from them in a while. So you go and you, you talk to them and you relay his message, and they give you that item. You can also craft it in game, but you know, it's free with the quest. So why why the heck not, right? So yeah, that concludes our guide for treasure hunting in Arc Age, the very decorative pastime. If you guys liked what you saw, please subscribe, comment, like the video, dislike the video if you didn't like the video. Stop by my channel at twitch.tv slash ignitar. 
and I'll hopefully be posting more videos. If you have suggestions for other tutorials, please let me know what you'd like to see, and I will comment at you the best I can. This is Iggy, signing off from China. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you on the next video.